Are the doctors taking care of you? With a breathing tube, skull fractures, and his eyes swollen shut, 64-year-old Khalid Mahmoud was finally able to nod his head yes tonight in a monumental sign of hope that his family has been praying for. We are all very, you know, upset and, uh, you know, heartbroken. Like, n never expected that he's been going to work, you know, for the same place for 25 years. And uh, all of a sudden, something happens like this. Mahmoud has been a manager at Penn Station's Hudson News for more than 20 years. Wednesday was the first time he didn't come home from work. When he's not home, 6 o'clock, his wife, everybody just got worried why he's not back. They started calling his work to find out what happened. Turns out the Bronx father never even made it there. Police sources tell us he was stopped in his tracks on his way to the Westchester Square 6 train around 4.15 a.m. Beaten to the ground, robbed of his wallet and briefcase on the corner of Overing Street and Tratman Avenue just steps from his home. A good Samaritan found him bleeding on the ground and helped him get to a hospital. Thank God there was somebody that was there to, you know, help him out. Hard to believe, like, you know, how how they did that to a, you know, a weak 64-year-old person. It's just, you know, it's just disgusting. Mahmoud moved here from Pakistan with his wife more than two decades ago, living in the same Bronx apartment since then as the sole provider for his family, known as a loving husband, father, and uncle. Oh, I'm just hoping that he's, he's, he's fine. Investigators are currently scouring surveillance cameras in hopes of catching the suspect. Meanwhile, Mahmoud's family tells us he will be going into surgery next week. It is unclear if and when he will fully recover. Outside Jacoby Medical Center, Rena Roy, CBS 2 News. Mahmoud's family says all of this happened over just a few dollars, and they say that he never carries much cash.